Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Donella. First couple of things, um, I got new lights in my kitchen, so they are kind of bright. So I don't really know what to do about like the washed out sort of face look yet. Um, for those of you who don't know, I don't really like to wear makeup all that much. Um, but if that comes to it, I might have to start doing that. My dad is currently in the basement. We are barbecuing on this lovely day. Um, it's It's been sunshiny. It's probably been about like 60 degrees. And my guinea pig is shredding paper. So if you guys hear any noises during this, that is why. Um, I'm sorry. Can't really leave the house, so I have to sort of deal with this. Um, but... In any case, I wanted to read you guys a little story. Today is the 163 year anniversary of the Lost Children of the Alleghenies. It's still a mystery. They don't know what happened. Um, it uh, took place probably 30 minutes to 45 minutes away from my house, so it was pretty close. Um, it made newspapers, it made, like, you know, everybody around this area heard about it at one point or another. Um, if you guys have any ideas of what this could have been, um, please let me know. I'm hoping to visit the gravesite again soon. I did visit there, um, probably when I was, like, 15 or 16. It's been a while, but I just remember, um, like, this eerie dreary feeling so if you guys want to see me go back and you know sort of show you guys like what the grave is please let me know in the comments down below because I do really want to go back there and if that's something you guys are interested in please let me know but without further ado let's get to today's video which is me reading this sort of case if you guys um want to learn more about it just go to lost children of the alleghenies um and there like the story would be this is just sort of like a smaller version of it um so yeah let's get started so it says on april 24th 1856 samuel cox went hunting on a foggy morning to get meat for his family supper he returned to the little log cabin he built for his family empty-handed samuel and Susanna had Two small sons, Joseph, age five, and George, age six. As they sat down for supper, the dog Sport started barking outside. Samuel grabbed his gun and ran outside, hoping Sport had cornered a squirrel for their supper. When Samuel returned home after about 90 minutes, his wife came screaming out of the house. The two sons were missing. The fog grew denser through the day, which made finding the boys even more difficult. Samuel screamed and screamed, hoping to hear an echo of his boys' voices through the mountain forest. Soon, people from all over the area joined Samuel in a search. The search went on for days. Eventually, about a thousand people joined the search. Some people came from over 50 miles away. That didn't sound like a big deal today, but during that time, it was a very difficult for people to travel that far and join a search party. Yet, the search party couldn't find any clues in the boys' disappearance. By that time, many rumors were circulating through the mountains. Some of the neighbors started to suspect that the parents may have murdered their sons and hid them. They went so far as to tear up the floorboards on their log cabin. Still, there was no signs of the two boys. A young farmer by the name of Jacob had experienced nightmares about the lost boys a couple of nights in a row. He told his wife about these nightmares before he joined his wife's brother in the search. Jacob dreamt that he was in the search party and got separated. He wandered into another part of the forest and found a dead deer, and then found a boy's shoe. It wasn't too far from where the boys It wasn't too far from where they found the boy's shoe. They found the boys laying in the hollow of a dead fallen birch tree. Jacob and his brother in low tra trance traced the steps of his dream. It didn't take long before they found the bodies of the boys who died from exposure. They found the boys' bodies on May 8, 1856. 
about two weeks after they vanished. In 1910, they erected the monument in the exact place Joseph and George Cox were found over 50 years later. Jacob and his brother-in-law Harrison were remembered as heroes. Jacob's dream became legend. The day the boys' bodies were found, the church bells rang through many communities through the mountains. Once the bo boys' bodies were returned to the Cox home, church and bells started ringing, announcing the sad news of the boys being found. So, what do you guys think of this story? I remember hearing it. Like, I just think it's so weird that this person, like, had a dream and ended up finding them, like, in the exact same location. And, like, I don't think he ever had any more dreams. Um, you know, I think, what do you guys think? Like, you know, do you guys have any suspects? Do you guys think, you know, who could have done it? Like, do you think that they just wandered out too far and got lost? Um, I don't know. Like, I really, I don't know about this story. Um, this was a really short one. Usually my videos are over 10 minutes long. But today, I just sort of wanted to do this in remembrance of um, what took place 163 years ago. Um, it's still today, like, it still shocks me. Like, I still don't understand what happened. Like, I, I wish I could, like, talk to someone and, like, ask them, you know, like, what happened. But, like, obviously there's really no one around that was there that day. But what do you guys think? Like, it's... I, I think it's so interesting, and I'm speechless, and like I said before, is it was just so eerie, like, the, like going there, and I really want to show you guys that, like, I don't even know how to say it, like, it's just, it's just so eerie, and I want to, like, portray that, so if you guys really want me to go to this area, in film, I am planning on going back once all this stuff is over, but let me know in the comments down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Whenever I post new videos, you will be notified. Um, I think that's it. I love you guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.